Hi, this is Jim McConnell coming to you from Redmond, Oregon at McConnell Labs. Today we're going to go over safety data sheets or SDS sheets. And we're going to, on this video, review the 16 sections of an SDS and whether you need to pay attention to them or not. So we'll start from the beginning. Product information in section one. That tells you who made it, what the name of the product is, if it has any trade names, and if you have a problem, who do you call? Uh, section two is identifying the hazards that are associated with this product. Section number three is compositions and the ingredients. My favorite section, not really. Uh, the names seem to change fairly often. And so if they do change, what we want to do is keep those updated. Uh, it also will list your pigments that go into it. Section four is your first aid. So what do you do if you ingest it, get in your eyes uh, on your skin, or if you inhale the product? Section five, firefighting measures. That's more for people if they have it in a, a building like ours where we make it in larger quantities. Accidental release measures, again, for larger people like us where we have it in larger quantities. Handling and storage information. Uh, exposure controls. What do you do to protect yourself? Physical and chemical properties of the material. Stability and reactivity. So what things you need to avoid. Toxicological information. So is it car carcinogenic, mutagenic? Is it toxic in any way? Ecological information, so what happens if it gets onto the ground, into the soil, into the water? Uh, disposal considerations, what do you do if you're going to get rid of it? Uh, section 14 is transportation, so more along the lines of if you're shipping the material. Most now technicians won't be shipping it, but our distributors need this information. We need the information as well. Regulatory information, so this is more regarding the ingredients and if it's hazardous based on what other countries may or states may think and then other information. So that's in section 16. So stay tuned. We will keep you, uh, we'll keep you posted and help you understand what an SDS is for and what does it mean to you. Thank you.